Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Awesome Nights, the Australian Slow Wolf. All right, last time we played Yuri, it worked out very nicely. We talked about surviving 2016 and uh, big metal dildos on my desk, which ended up actually being, you know, a microphone. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's see, this time we've got a Skull Deer and a Max Focus. We could play a pretty hefty DPS class if we wanted to at this point, and there's a number of options. Uh, da -da 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 -da. We've had a bad game as Penny recently. I kind of want to redeem myself. Um, but there's a couple of other people I just have not played in a long time. I mean, Coco I've played exactly like once, maybe twice on this entire series. Like a hundred plus episodes now. That might be worth looking at. No, we haven't played in a little bit. You're not a... No, I'm not playing Thurple. So, we got options. You know what? It's been a while since we've played some Nibs. Let's try Nibs. There's a lot going on here if this works. And if it doesn't work, then we're in a bad way. Well, another reason why I'm playing Nibs here is because Katrai the Unicorn has recently told me that if I call Nibs bad pick, then um, I should shut up. Well, I'm going to pick Nibs, and we'll see if it works. We're up against the Swiggins, a Penny, and a Clunk. Okay, this ought to be interesting. We need to play safe-ish. Uh, we need to play very cagey is, is our main deal here. If we can play cagey, we should be fine. But there's no guarantee of caginess in a situation like this. Okay, yeah, that's, that's, that's fair. That's, fair. Okay. that's also fair. That's, that's fair. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Give me rage. And also make it so that way Swiggins is not as scary as, as he could be for the next, like, you know, 40 seconds. Oh, wow. That was beautiful and exactly well-timed. Okay, we're going to make sure that he can't... Oh, shit. Wow. Holy shit, they waited all that time. They waited all that time. They waited all that time! You have got to be kidding me. Well, that was just unfortunate. I panicked. I could have gotten out of that, but I panicked so hard. So hard. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not sure why this man is complaining. His team is currently winning. Um, anyway, that was really bad. I do not expect anyone to forgive me for that, but... Okay. Did a little bit of work there. Not, mo not much, but a little bit. We need to get our sea legs back on us, or our dragon legs back on us with this character, if I want to be completely honest with you. Um, as it stands right now, we don't have too much going for us. Okay. For a second there, I thought we could have gotten something done. Not the case. Still looking for an opportunity here. They, they exist. Uh, they just aren't showing themselves quite yet. Oh, we can get that throw off. No, okay, no throw off, so no fireballs as far as I'm concerned. I, I need to make sure that I'm not like the very first one in a fight, or if I am, that I've got my escape button ready. Like, I better be torching and then doing other stuff. That was very good. That was excellent. Okay, not only did we manage to break the anchor, but we didn't take too much damage. We managed to harass them for a lot more damage than we took, uh, and we got rid of the droid wave. Like, these are all very good things for us. Just rely on the Skull Deer to do a lot of work for us. Like, every time a Skull Deer pops up, you're kind of, you know, supposed to be the highlight of the team. If you aren't the highlight of the team, then you're doing it. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage we just took. But we got out alive! We did it! We're alive! We're out! Whoop! <laughs> We've done it. Okay, so what's the plan? Uh, Eternal Flame would be very good to pick up nice and early. So we're going to go ahead and do that immediately. Um, that clunk, by the way, is, is playing pretty well, all things considered. I'm a little annoyed that, uh... You know, we almost keep getting killed by him. He's one of the few characters that's easy to play around. Like, he's, he gives a lot of options for counterplay. Uh, this guy definitely has his anchor ready. So we're just going to come in from below here to support with this guy. I did not hit him with that? Okay, that's fair. That's fine. I thought I got him with the AoE. Not the case. There's probably a penny in the bush. If there isn't, I'd be impressed. No? No penny in the bush, huh? I'm legitimately surprised. I was expecting them to continue to do that weird trick that they did at the very beginning, which ended up with me dying. Whoa! We got nothing. We got nothing at all. Um, we also, like, hammered the E key for no reason at all. I'm going to steal that, if you don't mind. Uh, not necessarily for the HP, but just because if eh, you only need one, then I can use the solar. Alright, so do, do, do. Okay. I will bait this. That's fine. I don't mind. Baiting here is okay, just as long as a... Yeah, we missed almost everything there. That was bad. He got stunned. That's dead, dead, dead max, unfortunately. Um, 
there is a there are a couple of weaknesses to Max. One of them is stuns. And if the Swiggins learns that fast enough, that's gonna be a problem for us. Okay, we got out alive, no problem there. Uh, we are very hurt though, and we should have died. I'd be surprised if we didn't. Um, we're gonna need to stick around now because we kind of you know took that HP and you know that usually means that we're supposed to uh, stick around for reasons. God damn it, he took everything. And we can't go near this right now either. Okay, kind of took that to the dome piece. Uh, we're out. What's next? I mean, there's a lot of different things we could do, but I want to get a second rank in Eternal Flame here. And the reason why is because I would like the extra damage on that damage over time. Like, all we need to do is land one of those fireballs, and that's a lot of good work for us in time. Uh, plus, if we can get a couple of other upgrades, we can do a lot of good work. I think that our main deal here is that we're just doing carry amounts of damage. That That is our, our purpose in life, sitting up a... Uh, you know, joie de vivre. I guess that makes that makes no sense. But like, that's that's the reason why we exist right now. Is to do a carry amount of damage. Now we need to be careful here because they have access to invis, and that frightens the shit out of me more than anything else. And it could have been on Clunk. It could be on Swiggins. It could be on Penny. All three of those options are scary as balls. So let's not give them that opportunity. So I saw all three of them. I don't think that any of them are in a situation where that's the case. That should be a dead Penny. If it's, okay, yeah, it's a dead Penny. We did it. Earthquake up the kill. That's all good. Fire and brimstone, buddy. That's what this team, entire team is about. Fire and brimstone. We've got fart fire. We've got halitosis fire. We've got all kinds of great fire. You know, we got the best fires. 2017. <laughs> Let's just get up here. All right, so Clunk. Okay, he's doing his thing. We do have a really nasty comp, by the way, in between uh, Max and myself as well. Okay, I'm going to steal that so that way you don't get it. Got him. By raging, of all things. She missed her pounce. Which gives me the chance to maybe do something. But I'm not going to go ahead and do that on my own. Not against the clunk and a penny. That seems like an unwise decision. If we catch them here, though... Okay, we're going to not actually teleport to that. I was thinking about it for a really good long second there. Two, two seconds, even. But, nah. I didn't, no, that seemed like a bad move. Now, we didn't get the kill there. It's okay. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Um, oh god. What we're gonna do next? Now we got Eternal Fire all worked out, and the kinks yeah, and the bugs and all and everything all figured out there. Okay, we're not gonna get the kill on the penny. I get this thing's feeling. We're gonna want to save this guy. Okay, we've torched this man. Absolutely, 100% torched that man. I don't understand why he stood there. All right, well, we're not losing. We're not playing well, I'll also add, but we're not losing, so there's that. Uh, prosthetic increases the range, that would be really good, but even just having extra tankiness would be really solid here. The other thing that I want to do is make sure that we're getting as much damage as possible. So that's going to be Starstorm Statue for right now. Starstorm Statue is very good on Nibs because all three of her abilities benefit from the 10% damage increase. So it's effectively like just a really big buff. Yeah, that, that'll do. I'll take that. That, that seems fine by me. Alright, so, so far this Nibs play is working out okay. If this ends up being a shorter episode... Oh, oh, fuck! And we teleported away from it! That was the first good play we've made all game! <laughs> oh, that was the first good play we've made all game! We actually used the invincibility frames on Nibs' teleport! Do you have any idea for Ipinar that is? It takes practice! The thing is so tiny, like, the invincibility frames on this ability are so small! I mean, they're not that small if you know what you're doing, but, like, it feels that small the rest of the time, you know? Okay, dealt a lot of good damage there. She's probably dead. Yep, there we go. That'll do it. Don't get caught. Okay, we got caught. We got caught and, uh, killed. Alright, I was outside of that AoE, I felt. So I didn't feel like I needed to use my, uh, my dash. Lesson learned. Use the dash, because you would have lived. Um, what's our plan now? Well... We've got the damage we need for the next little bit. I think the next thing we need to do is make sure that we're getting the kills, that we're netting the kills. There are a couple of things that we can do to make sure that this continues to, ha you know, happen. Uh, slow on the uh, on the orb is very strong. It's very good. Getting one rank in it can really help net a lot of kills if you're going for that kind of thing. Either in terms of chasing or in terms of doing like the one-two punch combo that is so popular with so many people. I'll take that. Thank you. So, just to kill. 
and it's just not gonna happen. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Wait, no, we got it! Ha ha! <laughs> Did not expect that. Take this, that's fine. And so dead. So am I. Oh, so are all of us. Well then. I mean, at least we did something there. That, that was entertaining. Um, so the slow would help. The other thing that would help here is Chocolate Monster Egg. Reducing the damage we take by 40% is pretty huge. So we're going to make sure that we do that uh, to avoid that situation there. Like, if we can survive Clunk Explode, then we've got it made, right? Like, Clunk could explode all over us, and we're just not going to care. That's exactly what we're looking for. That's exactly what we want to do. It's kind of had this, this reactive trade and damage that works out in our favor the vast majority of the time against Clunk. That, that would be good. What was that shit I just said? I'll be honest, I made up half the words as I said them. Okay, we did, we did what we could there. Got another kill there. Oh, get out of that AoE. Oh, get the invis. Oh, yeah, baby. I smell kills. I smell kills. Like the day I was born. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We just landed, landed, landed. There was a right. Yes! We did it. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's grab this HP. We're, do we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I don't know what uh, I don't know what anyone's talking about. Okay, uh, we're doing a totally okay. 100%. Oh god, 100% totally okay. Uh, we just torched that Swiggins for a ton uh, of damage here. Actually, got a lot of HP off of that. We can go downstairs, start pushing this out. Um, now we got all of our rage coupons. Then you know we should be fine, I guess. If you'd like to come down here and you know come into my parlor, fella, that would be nice. But. I don't think you need to. Uh, so with Skoldier gone and us being alone here, I don't feel so safe any longer. So we're going to back off, and I think that was the wise decision. Clunk was coming in from behind to kill us. Uh, and we did not die, so you know what? No one can argue with the decision where you don't die. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's difficult to argue against the decision where you don't die. And dead. That slow bubble, by the way, is still ridiculous. At the, at the time of this recording, it has not been nerfed since the first nerf. 5% nerf, by the way. Not a big one. Um, <laughs> not a huge one, anyway. It's just... Okay, that hit me. A um, little annoyed that, that hit me, but it hit me. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that thing. The, effectively, that anchor just wasted an HP pack, so that's a thing, I guess. If this guy's Ancient Octave, by the way, we do need to be careful about when he anchors and who he anchors and how. Um, we're gonna have to wait on that thing. Point. Okay, good. We told them to screw off, and they did. Now, what does he have? He's got all anchor stuff? Hard on him, what? By the way, thank you to, uh, Scoldia there for taking that hit for us. Uh, does he actually have just anchor drop stuff? He does. I, je ne comprends pas. Last of Scoldia did a ton of damage to this other guy instead. Maybe pick up a kill? Where's this penny at? Oh god, I'm an idiot. I'm not an idiot! The slow was good. <laughs> I I should have definitely not gotten that kill. I should have absolutely 100% not gotten that kill. But uh, we did get the kill, so I'm going to go ahead and just like chalk that up to me being awesome. And then, uh, you know, really smart thinking ahead and obviously being the Sherlock Holmes of Awesome Knots. That's exactly who I am. The Sherlock Holmes of Awesome Knots. By the way, I have not seen the new episode of Sherlock at all. All I know is that uh, apparently Twitter got very angry at it. I don't know why. Well, that was away from my fire, but that's okay. The fire still hit somebody. We didn't get explodimified, which is a good change of pace, and we're gonna get out of there alive, which is also pretty cool. I'll take this shit out, and then jump up here, and maybe just toss the fire here. It should be difficult for us to die, even to a penny. Um, I was expecting the penny to kind of come in and pulse and kill us, but in the at the angle we were at, I think that was going to be difficult to pull off. All right, do we need more damage now? Possibly more range would mean that we can deal damage for longer as well. It's cheaper. Hmm. There's a number of different options that we can do here. I think in this case we're gonna go for Darkest Stone isn't useful all the time though. Autograph picture of Vorin, I think, is our best bet. The reason why is because it tends to just do damage against enemy Osmonts. That's all we're meant to do. Uh, clearing lanes can be done by using the orb, can be done by, like, left-clicking. It's not difficult or hard to do. I like how they're saying the character's overpowered. They're currently objectively winning, by the way. It's, it's worth mentioning that, objective-wise, they are currently in the lead. Okay. Toss it some fire. That way they guaranteed get a little bit of a burn. Okay. Despite this objective win on their end of things, though, I can sense where I, why they're a little annoyed. We are, like, pretty close to them in terms of turrets. And on top of that, 
where I had in terms of levels. The the smell of the game is in such a in such a way that honestly it's a little bit difficult to call. Fuck that all, unfortunately. Uh, let's go over here. Maybe we can help get a kill on this lady. Although I doubt it. And burn. A little, please. Thank you. Okay. Oh, if Max could just have gotten that. And if we could not have just jumped there instead, that would have been great. He's gonna get out of fine. Never mind. Alright, well, that looked good for a second there, and then we fucked it up. Honestly, the Penny did a very good job, played very well, didn't screw up. If we had not messed up our jump into the bounce pad there, I think we would have gotten the kill. Not the case, however. We're gonna have to just make do with that fact. That slow bubble bubble is absolutely wrecking the shit. Absolutely wrecking their shit. I, I have, like, Max is just so good against, like, big characters that can't get out of the bubble. So good. It's so difficult to uh, justify picking those big characters up as long as Max is even a character in this game right now. It's, it's, I, I you know, I, I've complained about him enough at this point. I mean, okay, uh, not exactly what I was looking for, that's gonna have to be for now. Oh god, yes! If you'd like to ch hang out with me, that's fine. That's okay. Now, uh, we all, we maybe could have gone that way, but that's okay. Uh, we didn't die there, so that's fine by me. We're going to continue to do some little bit of push there. We're going to get the hell out of Dodge. All right. We're alive. Woo! <laughs> we even got a kill on the Swiggins who just didn't have his shit ready in time, so that's pretty sweet. Some regen would be nice. So we're going to go for two ranks of the Misery Tarot cards. That means that we now have re a lot of HP regen, so long as we have all of our stacks of Rage up and running, which is not difficult to do. I honestly feel like that that should be something that should be easy enough to do when the time arises. Uh, we just have to brawl a little bit. The, the regen is not gonna like you know negate damage we're taking effectively, but it's gonna help make it a lot easier to deal with. Okay, just a bunch of extra damage to that guy there. He's dead. Clunk, I mean, not uh, not the Swiggins that we shot up a little. Okay, there's there's a penny. What's the penny doing? I, I like to head Penny off at the pass once she's used her pounce and all that other stuff. Uh, I would also like to be a part of that fight. Nope? Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're a little bit slow on moving the fire around there, but we still dealt a little bit of damage. Uh, we didn't take a ton of damage, and we're about to get most of our HP back anyway thanks to the Misery Tarot cards. Yeah, this is fine. Like, we got like three or four bars of HP back, no problem on that, which is great. Oh my god. What the heck just happened? Woo! We just did something! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's get some regen off of this, these things here. Perfect, that's all I needed to do. Alright, let's go back upstairs, help out Max Focus. Keep on getting a ton of HP back would be nice. Nope, okay, that's fine. Let's go and get the downstairs all cleared up then. Maybe get some extra regen. There we go, nicely done. I, I fucked that one. That, that's my fault. But we're looking really good at the moment. Like, this is all fine. Um, I'll just back out, that's fine. Oh, we fucked up. Oh, we fucked up real bad. Um, that's okay, we took out the anchor. We're not gonna die yet. And so long as Penny goes not the direction I'm in, then we're gonna live. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, you know, I could probably take out the Penny. It would probably make a lot of sense to do so, but... Oh, here, baby. Here's where the money is made. Oh, we did a little, little bit of damage. Oh, cheeky amount of damage. We didn't die. Goldie's gonna pick up a ton of money. We're gonna get a bunch of regen back thanks to our uh, rage there, which is great. Uh, keep doing that. Perfect. And we're practically back up to full. Fantastic. That's two games in a row now that I've played with a hot crisp button where there's just been stacks of dough all over the ground. Multiple times in this round as well. Like, there's that one, like, triple death that we had. That was pretty sweet. Uh, and I do, like, mean specifically triple death. I, I'm not heading home. <laughs> I've got 500 to spend. Let's do that. That's a lot of potential power that we've got going on in our hands. Um, one part of that's going to go towards this, another part into blue and orange berries, and finally another bit into scrog chew. So what we just did right now is we've made it so that way every time that we use our orb, we get all of our charges. Okay, great. Fantastic. The other thing that we've managed to do is that every time we uh, get all four of our charges, our charge duration has been increased by a pretty significant amount, to say the least. I mean, I hit him with the slow, it just wasn't enough. 
Okay, he landed through the fire. He's, he's low. He needs to be very safe. We should be able to get the kill. Yeah, there we go. And we're going to get all of our HP back very easily. That Swiggins getting thrown there was just unfortunate for him. But we're doing great here. A lot of this has to do with Max just absolutely doing a lot of good work with this bubble. It's almost impossible for the Clunk and the Swiggins to go in safely against us. Uh, right now. Like, it's just, it's very difficult for them to do anything at all so long as that bubble is out. And it makes it really easy for us as a Nibs as well. Uh, the only thing that can make this worse is if, uh, Skoldier was being played by, is, was playing Sentry instead. Like, if he was playing a Sentry instead, this would be actually cancerous. Uh, a lot of the time I find that Sentry plus Max is, like, just a game over from start to finish and there's nothing you can really do about it. Okay, well, we're dead. Um, let's just do what we can here in terms of damage before dying. We got we got aggressive. We thought that we could start doing some damage to that turret. Nope, not the case. All right, so what's next? Mm. Adds a 15 per Ooh, we can add a slow to Frenzy? Do we need to have a reduced cooldown on all of our things? I mean, potentially, yes, but this feels really fun. <laughs> this is a cool upgrade. I don't remember that ever. Uh, being a part of his, uh, being a part of Nibs' kit. She's got a slow on her left click now. A 30% slow, so long as she's at max Frenzy, which is not hard to do. Man, that feels really good. Is that worth the cooldown reduction? I think that we only need the cooldowns once in a while anyway, so that might be worth our time. Um, if we pick up Boots and then uh, Power Pills Turbo with that, should be great. Increasing the attack speed of Frenzy seems more or less useless. Increasing the base damage seems really good. Um, you know what, considering that most of all of our damage pretty much has been focused on um, our abilities, we're going to go ahead and continue to make that the case. Fine. So long as we've got a uh, frenzy up and running, we've got access to a lot of incredibly low cooldown abilities. And I do mean like incredibly low cooldown abilities. Like that was just a ton of damage you just took. Okay, get your regen back up and running. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to do anything more than that. Unfortunately, we're going to have to back off here. All right. What's the next plan? A lot of damage on that penny. Has to back off now. Uh, not gonna die though, because she had easy access to a lot of HP creeps, so... We're gonna have to just make do with the fact that we're currently in a 3v... Uh, never mind, 2v2, as so long as we can save Max here. Nope, Max is dead. Okay, that's bad. Um, let's just start taking this shit out. Probably not worth... No, but that's okay. Don't worry about it too much. I'm gonna be able to clear out the lanes relatively easily without losing too much life anyway. Good one, good one, good one. He is so dead. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, shit. We timed that very badly. Just ate a 1,000 damage. Explode. Okay, that was bad. Good job, Iruz. Good job, indeed. All right, what's next? Probably pills. The other things that would be really good here, barrel scale cloak, forcing people into me, I suppose, and being slowed. Seems really strong. Um, it's arguably one of my favorite things to do. The range and the speed of the orb also seems really, really good, considering now that that would increase our threat range by a lot. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna actually try that out. I'm gonna try getting the range and the speed increase on the orbs. That way I can actually, you know, place it where I want to from a farther distance, all that stuff. Yeah, that could be really, really good. I could see that being incredibly effective. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. It might not be the right idea, considering that we've effectively neglected to take damage upgrades, but Star Storm Statue should help uh, negate that issue at least a little bit. Not a lot, a lot, but at least a little bit. We dealt a ton of damage there. It wasn't enough to stop us from dying or anything, but... Dead? Not dead yet? Oh my god, he survived and he killed us. That, that anchor damage just murdered us. We need pills. Uh, we, we've done a lot of work this game. 12, 6, and 10 is nothing to sneeze at at all. We're not doing the most experience in the game. Hot Chris Bun, by the way, two games in a row has been kind of carrying our, fa our face really, really far. Lots of experience, lots of droid kills, lots of everything. We're just kind of going in and making sure we're farming well enough that we don't, like, fall behind. That's That's been our main draw the majority of this game so far. Um... One thing that we need to be more careful of right now is using our cooldowns at appropriate times. If we can't just go in and expect to live, they have really big cooldowns. And they've been using them very well, sparingly even, in, in an attempt to make sure that they're landing them on uh, on me very often. Yeah, he's, he's very dead. Okay. Let's see who's down here. Okay, there's a clunk. 
You know what? I'll let that one slide. That's fine. We'll just bounce off each other for now. That's okay. I don't think anybody's got uh, anything bad to say about that. So where's this penny at? We don't know. That's okay, though. She's probably invis. Oh, I found her! I found her! I totally, totally totes found her. Now, the other good news is that we have this orb on an incredibly short cooldown. We can probably orb, like, all over the place. But we still want to use it appropriately, because if we don't, it can be really bad. We're not going to teleport to that one. I don't think that's a wise decision. Got her. Dealt as much damage as it could before horribly dying, and, uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, well, that's a problem. This clunk, by the way, is is huge. Like, every time that we go in on one person, they come in, and there's at least two of us there that eat as explode. That's really bad. Um, yeah, their, their clunk is doing an exceptional job right now in terms of getting damage out. And I wonder, how much has Salvo Value Pack been doing for him? That's, that's another really good point. If Salvo Value Pack is doing a lot of good work for him, that could really help. Uh, by the way, for those of you that don't know, Salvo Value Pack for Clunk is the one where if he uses his Explode and lands it on somebody, I think that's the one it is, or, or Vacuum Bite, yeah, he gets a double missile. So, so long as he times his missiles properly, gets, uh, gets the big one out, and then, um, you know, settles the bill with, like, a good Explode land, then he gets, like, a, this huge, like, double damage, super fat peat juggernaut missile. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to land as much as you'd like, because in order to get the full build, like, at the scariest amount of damage, you can't have AoE. But AoE is absolutely necessary for these days, so... Okay. There's all of Swiggin's done. I'd like to take this thing. Then get out of there, then burn the shit out of them, maybe? Not the case, okay. Okay, good, there's two more. We're dead. That was a team wipe, unfortunately. We got absolutely destroyed. I'm not sure that was the best time for a throw. I mean, very possibly. Uh, but we probably just lost the game off of that if they were smart. Like, if they are smart, they'd be going for core. We're down for, like, another 10 seconds. They'd be able to get at least half the core down. No problem with the builds that they've got going on. They've got damage missiles, ex AoE missiles, and uh, the salvo, you know, salvo value pack. They've got a lot of anchor damage. They've got Penny, who just always seems to do a decent amount, especially with the... Yeah, she's got the Cookie Monster badge, so her left click is actually very frightening. I'm Again, they went for two... You know what? Next, The next time that they pull this off, and it's very easy for them to pull it off. Apparently, they've been doing a very good job of it. They've hit level 20. They've been winning the last couple of team fights handily without any issue. Um, okay, well, we fucked that one up entirely. That's on us. There's an invisible penny around, I think. That's what I felt. Yep, there she is. done a decent amount here but it's not enough to make me feel happy unfortunately we need to save our skull deer but at the same time keep our base alive i i don't know what to do yeah skull deer's done they've also got a lot of rocket droids coming in which is a problem obviously and we're dead now yep okay that's game over gg well played i'm annoyed because obviously we were doing very well early game but that just went really sour really fast and i don't know where um, let's take a look. Uh, let's see. Well, we, we, we started getting exploded. We were doing our damage, I think. But, where did we start going horribly wrong? Like, they just, they, I think they just started playing better. They got their explodes off. Clunk did a very good job of keeping them in the game. Um, honestly, the Clunk and the Swiggins just became too tanky for us to kill. And we weren't landing the rest of our damage in time. I think the main thing that we needed to do here was coordinate better. Have our... Max Focus, go in with the bubble, follow that up with uh, my stuff. The only part of this team that seemed to feel wonky most of the time was Skoldier. Like, I'd, land, I'd you know, try to land a fire and everything else, and then he'd throw it out of the way or something like that. Like, the discoordination between our team is what killed it, I think, uh, more than anything else. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below, and I will see you guys in the next video.